Hi there. We are often asked, how hard is it to use a cleviscope when compared with a normal oscilloscope using its knobs? Well, this little video shows you how it's done. Perhaps you can make up your own mind. Right, now we're going to use a standard oscilloscope to look at a feature of a waveform, in this case, the overshoot. First, let's bring the overshoot down to the zero line, which is how a standard oscilloscope works, and then increase the amplitude. And move it down. We are interested in that leading pulse, so let's expand it. Okay, we see it now. Now we want to return back to the waveform as we were originally looking at. Okay. Right, now let's do the same with the cleviscope. First, let's zoom on the pulse overshoot using the magnify tool. Fast, eh? Now we'd like to return back to where we were using history. So it's quite fast. The next mission is to look at a pulse on a sine wave and we're going to use the keyboard controls. First of all, let's position the tracer on the pulse. Now we'll zoom in terms of amplitude using the control up key. As you can see, we keep the pulse on the screen. We can use the grab and move to quickly review the waveform. Click the back button and you're back to where we were. Not bad, eh? What do you reckon?